Hello everybody and welcome back. We have some big items to cover over the EIDL Targeted Advanced Grants. How to get yourself unstuck if you're stuck in one of these glitches that I announced here earlier this week on my channel. Okay, today is March the 15th. Happy Monday, everybody. It's a beautiful day outside, so I'm going to film and then I'm going to get outside, okay? <laughs> this is your daily stimulus report on your first, second, and your third stimulus check where we talk about things like PPP, round two, EIDL, the targeted grants, the non-targeted grants, everything, <laughs> including all the stimulus packages, okay? We're going to zoom in on EIDL for this video, and we're going to give you some great details on how to get yourself unstuck if you're stuck in one of these glitches. Let's get straight into the news. Welcome back, everybody. I am Edward Builder. To all my loyal subscribers out there, welcome back for another video. And if you are joining us for the first time today, welcome. Consider becoming a subscriber, okay? We're going to dive straight into EIDL, Targeted Advanced Grants, because we got to get ourselves unstuck from the glitches that we might be stuck in, okay? Now, earlier this week, I presented a video that had three big glitches in it, okay? That the SBA is claiming it's all your fault. It's not their fault. It's never their fault. It's your fault. So, if you're stuck in one of these glitches, go check this video out right here. If it's been a long time since you've received any communications from the SBA, check this video, okay? Uh, because I got a lot of thank yous from many, many viewers that were like, man, I had no idea I didn't click that box right there and I was stuck in this glitch, okay? So go check the video out. It could help you advance in getting your full $10,000. Uh, so we have a solution to one of the glitches that was announced on that on that video. It is glitch number two. Okay, and I know you don't know what glitch number two is, so I'm going to give you a brief backstory as to what glitch number two is. So glitch number two means there's one scenario. If you have the portal and you could go in and look at your dashboard and check status updates, you're not stuck in the glitch. Okay, so don't worry about watching the rest of this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, if you do not have access to the portal and you find yourself not being able to check your dashboard to see a status of progress, right? Submitted in progress, right? Those are the two things that are in review, right? Those are the three things that are most important to you. Um, you might be stuck in a glitch, okay? Because you never actually set up the portal, okay? And so this would mean that you received your invitation to the targeted advanced grant application. That's the special invite only. It's an application process and you have to fill it out you have to fill out your gross receipts, and you have to check a bunch of yes/no boxes. Okay, you will remember what this is. Believe me, it was, it was rather a, a rather obnoxious form. Okay, <laughs> so the next step was you click submit, and you're supposed to get a second email. That second email is a setup email to set up your portal and submit additional documentation like your form 4506T for your IRS transcripts, so that the SBA can finalize your loan application and send you the balance of your 10 grand, okay? Now listen, if you call the SBA right now and you ask them about this glitch, they're going to go like this and say, what glitch are you talking about? I don't, this glitch, we, we never heard of this glitch before, okay? They don't know about it. They don't know how to fix it. They don't even know it exists, okay? So the, this there is a way to fix it. It's going to take a little bit longer time, but if you follow these steps, you're going to get your loan application moving forward so you can get your 10 grand, okay? Now we tried this on we tried this on our viewers before we announced this this process, okay? So, a bunch of viewers reached out to me on my Instagram. You could find me in the description. They informed me that they were stuck in this glitch, and I said, "Here, let's try this and see if it works." And we've got it to work now in every single case. All right? So, let's let's dive into it. Okay, how to get yourself unstuck if you're stuck in glitch number two, okay? We tried this now with several viewers, about, oh, about 22 or so viewers uh, that found me on Instagram, okay? And it does take a little bit more time because they all called on the phone and they all said, hey, I'm stuck in this thing, and they, they all got the same response. We don't know what you're talking about, okay? The SBA is like, no, nah, there's no such thing. We don't know what you're talking about, all right? So we had them send an email, and within two to four days, they received a reply to this email, Okay. And everything that we're about to cover is found in the description of this video. So don't worry about writing down everything I'm about to say, okay? You could go right to the description and copy and paste everything that I'm about to talk about and explain, but it will help you if you follow along for the overall explanation. So you're gonna send the email to disastercustomerservice at sba.gov 
and targeted advance at sba.gov. Okay. And one of the things that's going to automatically happen as soon as you send either of these things a email, you're going to get automatic responses that say, leave me the heck alone. <laughs> okay. The SBA is basically like, leave me alone. We're busy. Wait your turn. All right. But it says there, if you need more assistance, email us back. Okay. So in the subject, we're going to say, I need more assistance. <laughs> EIDL portal setup, targeted advance. And then you're going to put your application number that you're going to find in your original email, the very first email that you received that said uh, targeted advanced grant invitation email. You're going to grab that application number. And you're going to put it there. All right. In the body of the email, you're going to basically say, hi, I qualify for the targeted advanced grant. I'm in priorities one or two. I received money. I didn't receive money. Okay. And I found myself on the low income map. Check that box. All right. <laughs> if you didn't, go to this video right here, follow a four step to understand if you are on the map. Okay, do that. I received the email to the invitation to submit the virus targeted EIDL advance application. And I filled out the application and submitted my application. Pretty much it's on you guys, right? <laughs> I did not receive an email to set up my portal to view my dashboard and submit my 4506T. My application number is, give that same number again here. Can you resend the link to my dashboard and my username setup? Thank you, me. Put your name there, okay? <laughs> Do this. Again, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna get a response back that says, gosh, leave us alone, you know, auto reply, go do all this other stuff, check these other things, okay? But it will say if you need more assistance to do this, send me back another email. And this email will reach a human on the other end who will read it, understand exactly what you're asking them to do, and they're going to send you a new link to set up a new username and password. It might be something that you already set up in the past, or it might be something brand new, and they're gonna send you that link to get this done. If you don't do this, you could be waiting weeks before SBA figures out, boy, that whole void of people right over here, they never sent their application, and it's gonna be on you, okay? It's gonna be on you, and if you go back downstream and say, hey, what happened? I never got my, I never got my second email, right? I never got my money. They're basically going to say, you didn't send us your 4506T. That's what they're going to say. Okay. <laughs> so watch, watch that video on glitches again too, because after you do this email and you get your portal invitation, it's really important to click a little box. That's a little window inside of a window to send your 4506T. So check that video out again, just so you don't miss the second glitch the well, the first glitch, which is in that list. <laughs> I wish everybody the best of luck. If you appreciate this content that I'm bringing you guys, you could tap the old like button and support the channel. Every time you touch the like button, YouTube recommends this video to more and more people. And many people out there are stuck in these glitches and they have no idea that they're even stuck in it. They think in their minds, I'm just waiting on the SBA to send me my money, okay? So you could be stuck in this glitch and you may not even know it. So help others by spreading the message, okay? You could also share us on your Facebook or on your Twitter get the message spread around that way. And of course, you could join us on other videos where we talk about building wealth strategies through passive income, royalties, the stock market, and real estate. Hit the old alert button so you can get notified for whenever these videos come out. I appreciate it, guys. Just a reminder on the EIDL, the new bill, there is new money, $15 billion, new money, okay? $10 billion is going one way to $10,000 grants. $5 billion is going this way to $5,000 supplemental grants. So we do have clarity as to where some of this money is going to go. That $10 billion for that $10,000 um, grant money is going to go to continue servicing priorities one and two. Okay, that's everybody that was in a low income zone, 30% reduction in gross receipts and 300 or fewer employees. They will all get $10,000, the full balance of it. Okay, if the money, if the funds are still available. Now, the $5,000 could go in two paths. Okay. It could go in one path to give the people that got the $10,000 an extra $5,000 if they are 10 or fewer employees and suffered a 50% reduction in gross receipts. So if you suffered a 50% reduction in gross receipts, you could find out by checking this video right here. It's a walkthrough on how to do gross receipt calculation. And I send a uh, spreadsheet to all of my viewers who ask for it on my Instagram uh, so that you get this done and basically enter all your numbers. And it's going to tell you if you were 50% or 30% reduced. All right. So that is everybody who will see the $15,000. If you are 50% reduced. Now, if you're still 30% reduced, it's only going to be uh, $10,000 for the low income communities. 
Now, who's getting zero? Let's talk about who's getting zero. If you're not 30% reduced, you're gonna get zero. And if you're not 50% reduced and you're not in a low income community and you're not 10 or fewer, you're also going to get zero, okay? So there are scenarios where you could find yourself getting nothing. If you're like 28% reduced, chances are you're not going to get the full balance of your $10,000, okay? Check my video, I did a full breakdown of this, all right? And you could walk through in much further detail if you need further understanding. Remember, leaving a comment enrolls you into my next giveaway. When I hit 20,000 subscribers, I am picking a lucky comment from one of my subscribers to send $500 to. I just did this last week, last Saturday. Gave $500 to a family who truly needed it. Uh, it was a great moment for them. I picked a random comment and it really made their day, okay? If you need help figuring out what kind of comments to leave, let us know where you are in the process with the EIDL targeted advance, okay? Let us know if you were priority one or two. That means you either got funds or you didn't get funds in the first advance, okay? And let us know what month you applied. This helps us track data for all of our viewers here so that they know what months are actually being issued by the SBA. So everybody, the next step is up to you, okay? Take some of this stimulus money and get out there and start investing in your, in your future, okay? Start a business, right? I'm constantly looking for partners in my B&B businesses, my short-term rental businesses. You could find me in the description on Instagram uh, if you wanna talk about that in, into more detail. Or you can get out there and start investing. Right now in the description, you could check out Webull and BlockFi. Webull wants to give you two free stocks valued up to $1,850. That's $1,850 now, okay? after you deposit $100 into the platform. And BlockFi, if you put anywhere, deposit anywhere between 50 and $250 to secure your cryptocurrency, you can earn like 8.6% on that. Pretty awesome, that's like huge. <laughs> I actually use both of these platforms each and every day. Uh, Weeble's kinda interesting. They let you play these games. Check this out, I got this game. You get to spin the wheel. I just basically invited friends and I got a chance to spin the wheel. And look at that, I just won free stocks. And the other day, I won this. $262 worth of free Facebook stocks. Pretty awesome, okay? If you need further assistance outside of my free content on any of your business ideas or anything that we're talking about on this channel, uh, you could find me for a one-on-one -on -one session. You can set up a call. I'll be pinned in the top comment, or you could find me in the description. I thank you all again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.